everybody, it's Michelle, or Generation Yoga and Pilates, here on my wooded walk again with Cosmo and Luna. So today I thought we'd do something a little bit different. I'm not going to talk through the video with breathing technique or meditation today. What I want you to do is just a little experiment really. So I had a thought. So there are a lot of you at home, uh, maybe you've got health issues. Um, or transport, logistic issues, whatever your issues might be, that doesn't bring you out in beautiful scenery like this. So I realise how fortunate I am and I'm very grateful for this every day. But I thought maybe there are some of you that are a little bit lonely, haven't had much of an adult conversation uh, of late and feel a little bit uh, locked up and enclosed with the pandemic. So first of all, what I'd like you to do is to chat to me. The first thing I want you to do is offload. I want you to tell me everything you think is troubling you, worrying you. Obviously, I can't hear this, but it does you good to imagine that we're sitting, or rather walking in these woods, having this conversation. There's nothing like walking in a wood to open up people, people's uh, channels of conversation. So I want you to, I'm going to stop for a second, carry on with the walk and I want you to imagine that you're standing side by side or rather walking side by side with me and you're telling me all of your troubles, all of your woes, get off your chest, get it out there. So I'll just give you a few minutes to do that. Okay, everybody, now you've got that off your chest. I'd like you to take a lovely big deep breath in. Imagine you're breathing all the oxygen for all this greenery around us that the trees and the foliage are giving off. So let's take a lovely long deep breath in. Bottom of the belly, top of the chest, hold that breath in. And then exhale with a lovely big sigh. Let out the toxins, let out the release of just offloading your troubles and your woes. So now we're going to flip it over and we're going to continue on our wooded walk. So you can imagine you're standing here walking beside me, having a little conversation. But this time what we're going to do is focus on the positive things in our lives. The things that we're grateful for, even if they're only the tiniest little thing. So even if it's just to make yourself a cup of tea or maybe be given a cup of tea and enjoy a cup of tea. Um, it could be anything at all. Just imagine maybe you've got friends or family or support workers and just imagine your gratitude towards those people that are helping you. So I'd like you to just focus on positivity and talk to me about all the good things that have happened today, in the last hour, in the last week, the last month or the last year or the last decade. So I just want you to, I'm just going to not talk now. I'm going to let you do all the talking and you're going to chat to me with all your positive thoughts and feelings.
Okay guys, I hope that lifted your spirits and you feel much happier and brighter now as you've uh, told me all of your thoughts of positivity, of gratitude. So as you can hear, I'm out of breath because that I'll show you in a second. I'm approaching the gate now that I'm going through, the back of Bliss Hill. You can see the funnel there. Um, and this is a big hill that we've just climbed. That's quite a climb. So you can hear me puffing and panting. So we're going through the gate and uh, I always imagine that we're still having a chit chat. Uh, we're going uh, just at the back of Bliss Hill, so if anybody knows Bliss Hill uh, Museum, the Victorian village in Telford, uh, near Maidley in Telford. Uh, we're just at the back of there at the moment. And it's a beautiful walk, but can be very mucky. So you need quite decent shoes to be walking along the path with me. So just imagine that you've got these decent shoes on. You're not afraid, you're not going to fall. But in your mind, whether you're able-bodied or not, that you're actually with me and you're walking with me and seeing the sights that I'm seeing. There's a lovely thoughtful bench, somebody's place there, which just this is the outlook to the bench. So again, it's uh, not quite sure what it was. Obviously a truck of some description, maybe coal or whatever they were digging at the back of Bliss Hill there. And there's the remains of it at the back there. Um, and if you've never been to Bliss Hill, definitely worth a visit. Um, you can change the money, your currency, into old currency, pounds, shillings and pence, and spend your money in old-fashioned money, which I always thought was really a fun thing to do with the kids when I brought them here when they were younger. So, uh, yeah, we're heading now towards the back of uh, the golf course. So, Telford Hotel and Spa. Uh, and we're just at the, uh, approaching the back of that now, uh, which is again a quite a nice walk where you see lots of blackberries ripe for picking. There you go, there's some blackberries ripe for picking, except most of the delicious, big, juicy ones have already been picked. And as I mentioned before, put in a pie, I would imagine. So you do have to wear trousers around here because it gets very overgrown with stingers and things that scratch your legs. Um, and you might occasionally get bitten as well, so by bugs. But you haven't got to worry about that because you're resilient to it all. If you're wearing the appropriate wear, long trousers, good short shoes, and you're breathing in this freshness of all the greenery, the oxygen that this greenery is giving off, helping to fill you with positivity and lightness in your heart, in your mind. So we've done a good 10 minute walk here. A little bit of mindfulness. We've had a lovely chit chat on our walk today. So I hope you've enjoyed the company and uh, replay the video whenever you like. There are other videos on YouTube, um, my channel, All Generation Yoga and Pilates. There are two channels, one that's made up of baby yoga videos and the other one with adults and kids. Uh, so if you pop on the adults and kids one, you'll see uh, a few of these videos where you're coming onto my wooded walk with me. Um, if you found it useful, or you know somebody that's in a situation where they're lonely, can't get out, or have health issues, uh, maybe mention it to those people. Um, if you're not internet savvy or you're not used to this technology, uh, maybe you've got a grandchild or maybe a carer or somebody that can perhaps just switch it on for you while they're um, doing other things for you. So you can sit and watch it um, and imagine yourself here. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for now and join me again some other time. Bye bye.